Hello, good evening. You're watching Business Today. This is Rajat Mishra. We know one debate that has picked up steam as of now is the rising and unsustainable level of debt amongst the states. And a recent report by the RBI in the month of July titled as State Finances a Risk Analysis put the spotlight on the fiscal risk confronting uh, the state governments across India and the, with the special focus on some highly indebted states. To talk more about it, the problems of the state and why the, the, the states are having an unsustainable level of debt, we are joined in by a very special guest today, Finance Minister of Kerala, uh, Mr. K. N. Balagopalan, thank you so much, sir, for joining us and talking to Business Today exclusively. Thank you. Sir, uh, without wasting time, I would like to just jump off uh, to a very important question. So, we all know that the current debate is going on about the state's debt and, 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 and it becomes much more relevant in the backdrop of the Sri Lankan crisis because the RBI report that I'm talking about mentioned specifically in the backdrop of the Sri Lankan crisis, it's highly uh, imperative for us to talk about the unsustainable level of debts among the state. So how do you assess the current state of economy as far as Kerala is concerned? As far as Kerala is concerned, we I feel that the economy is uh, progressing and after COVID, the situation is improving. And the question, the leading question, you, you asked about some report about uh, some article by some, some uh, academicians or some research scholars in related to RBI is saying about five states or like that. See, as far as Kerala is concerned, our debt to GSDP ratio is not much higher than the earlier years. See, if you, for example, I can give very simple example, 20, 20, 20 years back, our total debt in the state was 25,000 crores hmm. and our GSDP was 75,000 crores. I am saying about some 20 years back the data. And now our GSDP is 10 lakh, around 9 lakh 90,000 crores. And our the uh, our debt is total debt is around thirty three uh, three lakh thirty thousand crores like that. See, if you take a take the the, the percentage, it is something same. And actually, uh, it is something around thirty six percent now, around thirty six per thirty five to thirty six percent. That is what they are showing. This was only around thirty just before the years of COVID. So at the time of COVID, the Reserve Bank of India and Government of India decided to give oh, in one year 5% per annum borrowing power to every state, to GSTP. Right. And next year it is 4.5%. In the, this year it is only 3.5%. What I'm saying is if you take 3 lakh, 30,000 like that in the monitor, in the numerical value, it may be like that. But the inflation total income, inflation, everything, if you consider it is something same. And on the other hand, I have to say one thing, that Kerala, it is 35 to 36 percent of the GSTP is the total debt. And what is the percentage of India? It is 69 percent. Whether 36 percent is higher or 69 percent is higher. So why this is because these areas, we are very careful about the situation in the state. Many states, all the states are like that. We have to repay. We, at the same time, when COVID situation was there, and in, before that, we have a we had a, a flood situation, very serious flood and Oki, all these natural calamities were there. So we sailed through a very difficult terrain, very difficult situation, and we are successful in containing our debt at the same level as in 80s and 90s. On the other hand, what actually happening and happened? The central government is not properly supporting the states. Actually, this is a time when the COVID, post-COVID period, every state is needed a lot of help. Actually, the, the GST compensation now they are from July 1st onwards, they stopped it. And it was it was a very difficult situation for every state, not only Kerala, every state is demanding for the extension and the borrowing limit they reduced. Then, moreover. Kerala was getting 3.895% at the time of 10th finance commission from the divisible pool. Mm -hmm. Now Kerala is getting only 1.92%, only 50%. Right. See, this is the, the last, to, uh, last commission to this finance commission, 
15th Finance Commission. Actually, the situation is very, very difficult for us because this much of reduction, we don't know. Our even much lesser than our population size. If you, if you, I'm not taking any big states number and their amount. But if you look into the divisible pool from the center, it is very meager. Actually, injustice is happening to states like Kerala because they are saying that we have our schools, education, hospitals, and health and other development indexes. See, you should not, when you are assessing something, you should not penalize a state which spend a lot for the development. Right. And we are not getting at least 20,000 crore per annum. We are ready, we are losing because of this disparity by the central government, the finance commission. And I am speaking on behalf of not only for us, I am saying about the interest of states, all states. See, actually, the 15th Finance Commission said that out of the total expenditure, national level, total expenditure, states are bearing 64% of the expenses. Right. And they are getting only 33% uh, of the total income of the country. And central government is bearing around 34% of the expenses, and they are getting around 63% of the income. This also we have to look into mind. Even amidst all these things, we were very successfully doing all these things, but we are expecting a lot many because the problem is there because the COVID situation and uh, because of the cut by the central government, because of the borrowing control and because of the GST compensation stoppage, we are, we think, we are detrimentally affected because of the decisions by the central government. So we are demanding more help from them and we rep uh, represented all these things to, to the go central government and uh, we are expecting that the central government will take proper and genuine uh, decision to give the percentage which you, we are we are eligible. Right. And so one thing uh, that RBI report I'm talking about, you very well explained uh, the whole situation. Uh, and uh, coming to that RBI report that we started with, we know uh, that you talked about that your uh, debt to GDP ratio is somewhere around 37.2% uh, as of now. Ah, 36, 37, like maybe. Yes. Okay. So that report of RBI projects debt to GDP forecast for Kerala in financial year 27 to 38.2%. So basically it's rising. It's not stagnating. It's not coming down. And it's, uh, on the other hand, it's rising. So my question to you is, what steps you are taking to, to, to bring the debt level to a sustainable level? Because we are seeing that projection is showing us a debt level, debt to GDP ratio is increasing. Actually, debt to GDP ratio, as per our expectation and our calculation, it will come down to 32, 32 percent by the uh, by 24, 25. That is what our expectation. The, the economists and our studies, our our related agencies, our as per our studies, it will go like that. That we we are expecting. And see, one thing is there. Actually, the the in tax main income is from tax, GSTP. Uh, it, it, it is uh, the, the GST income and the VAT tax. So actually what is happening? Because the genuine portion from the, the GST is not increasing because it is a small time interview. I cannot, uh, shortage of time will be there. See, actually there was a 14% per annum increase before GST, GST introduction. And right. the, uh, the, the, the the central government and the GST council, that assurance was there, it will be protected. And actually it would have been there. And at the time of introduction of GST, GST the revenue neutral rate was around 16%. 16%, 1.6. Now the revenue neutral rate came down to 11%. Why it is happening? Because more than 200 items which were charged around 28%, the luxury items, where they were reduced. Many luxury items that GST, GST rate was reduced. And because of the 30%, uh, 35% decrease because of this. And if you look into the total revenue, last year we got around 24,000 crores from GST. And the protected revenue was 12,000. See, what I said, the calculation is very correct. That 30% reduction, 30-35% reduction is because of the arbitrary reduction by the, the, the council. We were objecting that. Now also we said that the, uh, the, the these areas should be taxed as earlier. So 
tax they are reducing. Then the special cess and other surcharges are there. It is not divided to the states. More than 5 lakh crores they collected in the last year from the petroleum cess. If it was it, it was not collected like that, it, if it was excess duty, if it is not a special surcharge, if it was excess duty, uh, at least we would have received some, some 8,000 8, crores right. or 6,000 crores. So if you go into the details of the, 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 the details about the accounting, the tax share, everything, we are in a very difficult situation because of the arbitrariness of these kind of new issues. Okay, so basically, uh, yeah, sir, so you're... We will, even then, we hope that our debt, the present rate of debt, the percentage will come down. Because it was because of COVID. Last two, three years, it was because of COVID. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, sir, one thing that the, we also want to understand from you that the same report highlights that Kerala is one of the top five states with largest rise in subsidies over the last three years. And they point out this as one of the major reasons for, for why uh, states are getting uh, into such kind of a precarious financial health situation. So do you believe that giving out subsidies, because Kerala is amongst uh, top five states which are incurring more uh, on the subsidies in the last three years. So what's your take on that? Yes, we had a lot of subsidies and a uh, lot of support given to the people. For example, the COVID period, we gave free grocery or free uh, food kits, including some 13, 14 items to all families for some seven, eight months because COVID Total lockdown was there. Even those who are rich, they cannot go out because of the pandemic situation. Now we we are coming out from that. So right. this was one thing. So we spent around 5,000 crores at that time. But actually, and free medical aid, free hospitals, and hospitals were provided by free food for everyone. Means all the COVID patients, not only in the hospitals, even hundreds of uh, uh, system we developed as part of the COVID. It was a united struggle by the center and state and all. We all supported the fight. So it was a time like that. And we two, three packages we announced for COVID packages. All the people, for example, the, uh, the in the field of uh, artists, artists and cultural, in the cultural field, we gave them some kind of support. Shop owners, uh, other farmers, many areas we gave some support because no income was there, so a lot of support was given. And it was a life and death question at that time. So spending was something high at that time. And because of that, we saved our people. We saved our people. 2% or 1%, it was it may be increased. We announced 20,000 crores, two packages. And 5,600 crores, special package for, uh, for the vendors, mainly small shopkeepers and uh, traders. So. This is a package, so a lot of money was involved in that also. So because of all these expenses, COVID situation, there was a rise in the, in the area. And tourism sector, we supported the tourist, uh, even resorts, all were stopped for two years. People right. who were working there, even the tourism, a small, medium resorts, houseboats. So we gave support to them, not totally, or a meager, or a small amount, a percentage, we supported them. So that created some increase. And we feel that that was a very necessary thing. If you keep all the mind, and if our people are affecting, stopping and dying, what is the benefit of your debt to GDP ratio and all and borrowing ratio? We can, we can make it correct. We are sure that we can, we can correct it because all the, in the country, in the, in, the, in the world, whichever country rescued earlier from the earlier situation, were countries who spend more. We have to spend more. Right. And now we, we, we can consolidate the situation. That is what I feel. And I, I said earlier, we have a 50%, only 50%, less than 50% of the central government. So <laughs> Reserve Bank, I don't know whether Reserve Bank wrote something about the Indian situation. I don't know. So then, basically, uh, basically, I have only do these two, three recommendations and uh, you are looking for only these two, two, three support measures from the center, right? I am. I am saying. I am saying. One by one, we send to the send a letter to the FM. So first thing is, 
the central government have to give us our proper share of uh, our uh, from the central pool divisible pool now it is only 50% of the eligible which we are we are getting only 50% then they have to give the borrowing borrowing powers now it is they are reducing it because our after covid one or two years it will be over the the end of the situation will come back uh, because actually lot of things have to be done otherwise people will not have purchasing power so that that activity they have to help then compensation i said that naturally they have to increase then tax that is we cannot discuss because i am also in part of the gst council gst council has looked into that matter and generally the special assessment and other things but i said about the 5 lakh crore rupees they are they are collecting uh, th that should be as part of the excess then the major discounts they gave to the big houses you said about 1.2% discount more than 7 lakh crores tax where they, they left they, they, they leave left the taxes which has, which were collected so these kind of taxes for corporate taxes and higher taxes they have to collect because indian companies are getting a lot of profit even amidst the covid situation more than 9 lakh 50 thousand crores is the profit from the uh, the companies which are listed in bombay stock exchange no maybe more than that so Thus, those taxes should be collected. These are the things, and the part of that we will get the benefit from the central government. Means it will be distributed. So immediately they have to look to every state because of the crisis. They have to look into every state, and they have to take steps to help them through their genuine genuine decisions. Thank you so much, uh, Finance Minister of Kerala, for speaking to us. Thank you, Mr. Balagopalan, uh, for uh, joining us. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for sparing time out of a busy schedule and speaking to business today. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.